All right, folks. Let's take a uh, short walk around here of the 2019 Volvo VNR. Uh, don't ask me what VNR stands for, because uh, I don't know. NR chassis, Volvo noise reduction. I don't know. Volvo nose reduction. It does have a short little nose on it. Got a short little nose on it. Right there, you can see it. Uh, like it wants to be a cab over, but it's not really a cab over. Okay. Uh, VNR. Anyway, that's what we're going to call it. VNR. We'll pop the hood for you. Uh, take a little look at this uh, Volvo motor here. Which... It's just a big old hunk of, big old hunk of Volvo motor right there. Okay, it's big and green. Pretty much all you need to know. I don't know. It says it's a D13 M425, so <clears throat> it might be 425 horse. I don't know. I know the other ones were 395 or something like that. Of course, it's probably detuned for a company truck. Brand new. It's got 800 miles on it. Hadn't even got a chance to get dirty yet. All right. They pretty much all look the same. Big old ugly green Volvo motor. But it runs good for right now. Okay. Go over here and shut this, shut this hood. And the company sprang for the uh, Alcoa mag wheels, which was really all I needed. All I needed was mag wheels and uh, a gear shift. But see, they don't put gear shifts in them anymore. Right? They even put mag wheels on the back. So we're going to have to mark up the price of pop tarts for that. Yeah, we're yeah. It's going to have to pay for the price of pop tarts. Pay for the mag wheels. Got the little square tanks, one on each side. Got the blue def. Uh, blue def fluid tank right here that's because we uh we don't want to destroy the earth and kill all the trees and all that uh, it won't be diesel that destroys the earth anyway it'd be democrats that do that but uh anyway that's the blue def tank got the uh nice rubber lines there instead of the uh plastic lines hopefully they'll last a little longer than the plastic ones all right still got the stack going up a lot of new trucks have the stack going up underneath, but uh, this one's still got one going up the side of the back of the cab, so that's good. All right. We got our aluminum steps back instead of those uh, plastic ones we used to have. You know, big guys like me, you step on that plastic long enough, that fiberglass, and it'll crack. You'll come tumbling down here. <clears throat> you come tumbling down eventually stepping on that, but at least we got our metal steps back. All right. Open it up in here. I can't believe uh, they sprang for floor mats. You know, for years and years, we've made our own floor mats, okay? Take the mud flap, cut it in the shape of the floorboard, drop that bad boy down there, and voila, you got a floor mat. But no, these are factory floor mats. We're getting all fancy, all factory fancy, all right? So I could see in the future where... We won't even have steps, you know. Uh, of course, there might not be a driver in the future, but uh, I mean, we've taken so much away from the driver. You know, why does he need steps? Let's just have a little elevator there to uh, lift his fat butt up into the seat. And that way, driver don't have to climb up in there since we took the gear shift from him anyway. So, you know, it just gets fancier and fancier as you climb up in here. I'll give them credit now. The seat has some nice adjustments on it that it never had before. And I like the seat. I do like the seat. It turns a couple, it, it bends a couple different ways. And it's still got the lumbar support. And it looks like it might hold up depending on how many 50 million people drive it besides me. But anyway, it's only going to hold up so long. And uh, anyway, so here's your dash okay now i don't know why i don't know why a steering wheel needs 10 buttons on this side 10 buttons on this side 
and three horn buttons. I don't know. I don't know, but it's got, and actually this middle one here, that's a, that's a, like a three function button. You could say it's got 13, but anyway, 10, 10, and three horn buttons, okay? Because we can't have distracted driving or anything like that, you know? I mean, we don't want, we don't want uh, Joe Driver being distracted, so we'll just put more buttons and lights in front of him. But these trucks, these trucks are preachy, okay? These trucks preach at you. They, see, before they, before they have a robot truck that drives itself, first they'll have a truck that tells you how to drive. And that's what this one does. Okay, you got all your proximity sensors. You got one up here on the dash, and you got one down here on the side, and you got one over on the other side. So if there's a vehicle within like... 50 or 100 feet ahead of you it starts giving you a warning and uh and uh, anybody that cuts over in front of you you know if the cruise control's on it'll slow you down i mean it's the preachiest truck i've ever driven you know it's always got to try to correct you because young truck drivers these days can't think for themselves they can't they can't even be trusted with gear shifts, you know. It's gone. There's nothing there. There's plenty of room for a lunchbox because there's no gear shift left, okay? Because we can't take time. You don't need to take time training guys how to shift gears. You know, we'll just put some push buttons up there and then uh, and hope he, hope he knows how to push a button. You can get a non-gear shifting uh, driver's license now. That's how sad it's gotten. So, uh, I mean, that ain't Volvo's fault. But they're just the ones that they're marketing the product. You know, they know they're going to sell some. So you know, and that's the that's the this is this is an old this is an old truck driver talking here, a young old truck driver. Okay, I've been doing this twenty six and a half years. So some of you drivers out there that don't want to hear this, you weren't even alive when I started driving a truck. Okay, all right, you you don't know how to keep a paper logbook. I do. Okay, that radio right here, this old radio. That's older than some of you truck drivers, okay? It's a 1994 model, okay? So you truck drivers, you young guys that are under 30, you, you don't know. You don't know. Unless you grew up on a farm driving the old truck, uh, old stuff, you don't know. So I'll get off that soapbox and give Volvo credit for adding some heat to the windshield because when it gets cold enough and snows hard enough, it's hard to put enough heat on that windshield to keep the ice off of it. So I give credit where credit's due there. That's my two favorite things about the new truck. A heated windshield and, and a seat with more adjustments in it. Okay. I didn't need a steering wheel with 20 buttons. Okay. I didn't need that. I didn't need that. But that's okay. That's all right. That's all right. I'll figure them out one at a time. Okay. So, oh, when you put it in reverse, yeah, it turns the radio off. Yeah, you're in the middle of a good song. And, you know, I might have to have a Bluetooth speaker from now on to get th ever get through a favorite song again. Because it doesn't matter if a car pulls in front of you or you have to put it in reverse to back in a door, shuts the radio off. You know, <clears throat> because we don't want you to be distracted or anything, truck driver. We can't have that. We can't have you distracted. Okay. We'll give you a radio, but then we're going to tell it to turn off when we think it's right. Okay. That's that, that's what you new guys have done to us, okay? Yep, all these all these accidents, okay? They built a truck that even a Swift driver could drive, okay? You Swift and you Western Excuse drivers, yep. You dollar two ninety eight drivers that come out with a, a no shifter, a, a, a no gear shift on your license, uh uh uh, y'all be ashamed of yourself. You ain't you ain't truck drivers. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> you ain't, you may think you are, but, uh, you know, statistics say different. So anyway, so your 2019 Volvo, everything you need in a truck and 40 things you don't need in a truck. Yep. Logbook computer too. Why? Because truck drivers can't be trusted to draw a straight line. And do simple math, okay? If you have trouble with simple math, there's a calculator, okay? 
<clears throat> a calculator so you don't have to pull your smartphone out, okay? I put that in there. I learned that from another truck driver, okay? But these logbook computers, yeah, they got to babysit you too. They babysit you too. They make sure you take your lunch break on time. And uh, they make sure your write-up goes to the right person when you don't take your lunch break on time. Okay? This is the micromanaging that's come to, you know. And it increases the cost of the equipment. But I don't think it's made it any safer. Because the less you ask of people, the less they will do. They don't have to shift anymore. Pretty soon, you can hit a button and the truck will back itself up, probably. You won't have to know how to back up. And, uh, well, heck, we don't need steps. Let's put driver and elevator down there so it can lift his butt up into the seat. That way, we don't have to take a chance on him tripping on a step. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much your 2019 Volvo right there. Yep, everything you needed to know. Yep, first aid kit. Yep, first aid kit comes built in, right? All nice and pretty, smells new. Everything you need to know. Okay. Everything you need to know. But it don't do a thing better than an old truck would. Except it probably gets a lot better mileage. So, there's your 2019 Volvo. Y'all have a nice day. And remember, Epstein didn't kill himself and Hillary needs to be in prison. <laughs>